I'm Dearborn City Councilwoman Leslie Herrick, and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Council in the Community. Joining us today first is Emma Jean Woodyard, Executive Director of the Dearborn Community Fund. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Leslie. And Marwa Hashem is a, an artist and art instructor here in Dearborn. Thank you for joining us. This is your first time on Council with Community, isn't it? Yes, it is. And thank you for having me today. You're welcome. So we're here to talk about things that are happening um, in partnership with the City of Dearborn and other arts organizations in Dearborn, but in particular things that happen here at the Community and Performing Arts Center. We have art classes, and so why don't, why don't we talk a little bit about the things that happen there. Well, we uh, during the summer we had the uh, Marwa ran one of our wonderful classes this summer, and uh, we have the youth theater going on, uh, both for the younger children and the older children. We had the summer chorus; uh, they just performed about a week ago. Did an awesome job. So summertime is busy. We don't ever take time off here. Um, now we're gearing up for fall, and I would uh, encourage people to. Uh, pick up one of the brochures for the 2024-25 Arts Academy here at the center. Um, there will be new programs continually being added in addition to what's in the brochure. So we go pretty much 12 months out of the year here in the cultural arts wing of the building. And uh, we're really lucky in Dearborn to have it. Let me just say that. And uh, Dearborn is lucky to have the community fund, which does um, partner and helps organize these things and does fundraising um, to pay for some of them. Some of them are run by the Recreation Department apart from the, the Community Fund as well. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the art classes. And um, so I wanted to talk to Marwa. She's been here this summer teaching some classes, but she, she teaches classes and works with young people uh, sharing her talents and, and knowledge um, throughout the year, not just here at the building. So why don't we talk a little bit about that, Marwa? So that class uh, that I taught here at the Civic Center was like a one week long class and we learned about color theory patterns and we had a lot of fun. The way I teach them is by uh, letting them choose what they want to work on and then going through like decoding the piece so they can learn lines, pattern, color in one project that they desire to create. I don't force my uh, uh, my preferences on them. I let them choose what they want to learn and then that way uh, they're building their visual memory. They reach a point where they can create from their own visual memory without having to copy something. And then at the end do you do uh, uh, kind of a show for yes, the family? Yes, we had, we had a, like a mini exhibition for them and they were so proud of themselves. I was I was so grateful and so happy to see them so proud of themselves that that pride on their face like they walked in here to the gallery so proud of, of themselves their families were there were here and it was it was fantastic and uh, I know that we're talking about the class you taught this summer at the center but you also teach elsewhere so why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the classes you teach and, and who you teach and where so I have an art studio at the City Hall Art Space where I teach uh, uh, art classes for kids and adults uh, in all age groups, uh, basically. And for adults, I do therapeutic art. That's that's the difference between the kids classes and the adults classes. Um, so we do therapeutic art where I embed like the art therapy uh, techniques into like a session where they don't have to uh, learn the basic of art. They just follow along and they um, be mindful about their inner world uh, as they paint their masterpiece. So Mara, well, how can people find out more if they want to learn about opportunities to work with you and, and learn from you? Uh, so I have a website, it's www.marwahashem.com and that's M-A-R-W-A-H-A-C-H-E-M.com uh, and I have an Instagram page, marwa underscore hashem23 where they can find me and it's easier to connect with me on Instagram rather than my website. Thank you both for all that you do to um, promote and um, give opportunities to people to enjoy and experience the arts and, and uh, try their hand at it if they wish as well.
Now we are outside the Ford Community and Performing Arts Center and behind us is the beautiful new mural that was designed and painted by our students in the Pockets of Perception Pop student design team this summer. Um, Emma Jean, tell us about the mural. What do we see here and what's it called? It's called Colors of the Community. And as, as you can see, it's very colorful. Uh, we'll give it that. Um, it really is meant to portray what this center means to the community. It really is the center. Uh, the traffic, this is Michigan Avenue, or supposed to be Michigan Avenue. You'll notice some landmark buildings on it uh, where everything comes to the center. And um, the students developed the idea based on what they knew about the facility, what's offered here, and this is the end result. So the mural, if people come here, you can't miss it. It takes up the whole wall and the south side of the building. Um, and up until October, we have a couple other, you have Mural Way, which is on the other side of the sidewalk. So tell us about the murals that we see there. The murals that are along Mural Way were done in April to kick off April Arts Month and the arrival of the Detroit Institute of Arts Inside Out Artwork you may know that we have 10 pieces of art uh, that are reproductions from the DIA that are on display on both east side and west side of Dearborn. So the murals that we have here in Mural Way were done to attract attention, uh, to introduce the DIA work, and we thought, you know, we need to use them. We need to keep them on display. So they will be up through October, which is uh, when the DIA um, exhibit ends as well. Well, I appreciate the work that you do with the community fund and partnering with the recreation department to bring these opportunities here um, for all of us to enjoy the arts. We're partners. And, and that's truly how, how these things happen, isn't it? So thank you for joining us for this edition of Council in the Community. We hope we see you out here at the Performing Arts Center or around town enjoying the arts. Until next time, this is Dearborn City Councilwoman Leslie Herrick with Council in the Community.